Well guys, first off, disclaimer, uh, don't try this at home. Uh, we're not professionals, but we're just showing you what we did. So we're not responsible for anything you do in regards to this at all, like your like, own risk. Yeah, if you decide to make this, that's your choice. We didn't influence you to do this in any type of way or form. Welcome back, hey. everybody on YouTube. Got me again with me, what as always, you? hopefully. Yeah. So this weekend, uh, we have a photo shoot lined up for the guitar strap that I just finished making, which, I don't know, you've, you should have seen plenty of footage in, in lots of other videos by now. As part of that photo shoot, we're going out into the woods, hopefully going out into the woods. Into the woods, into the woods. I think, I think we find a place. Yeah, we, we kind of found a place. They're the woods. Go to the woods. We're going to the woods. We're going to the woods in Norman. Hopefully the police department or the fire department doesn't get called on us. Part of being in the woods, we've got homemade portable smoke generating devices. Because I don't want to say the B word. Or the G word. The G word. That one's very dangerous. Yeah. So welcome to uh, Deadlands Steam Vlog first how to tutorial okay first things first you're gonna need a couple of ingredients you're gonna need one skillet or pan make sure you're never gonna use it ever again okay you're gonna mix three parts of potassium nitrate or stump remover you're gonna mix that with two parts of sugar I know sugar it's super simple you're gonna mix that up put on medium low heat and if it starts smoking you should probably take it off because you don't want it to ignite. It could really mess up your stuff. Keep stirring it until it gets to a syrupy consistency. And then after you do that, you want to put it inside of your, your aluminum foil mold that you made prior. So after putting it into your mold, you're going to set it aside and let it sit for about an hour to let it cool. And then you're ready to set it ablaze. Yep. These are what the balls of smoke generating devices look like. It's kind of stuck to the tin foil there, but it's uh, rock hard. The red comes out looking like poop, and the white kind of comes out looking like this tapioca business.
knows? Uh, let's go over the, the, the pros first. The, the cool things, the good things about this. It's cheap. Mm -hmm. It was like 20-ish dollars for all of the things that I bought today, which was two bottles of the potassium nitrate, huge bag of sugar, two packets of dye, which we didn't even use the other packet of dye yet. I also bought yarn that I didn't need because the wick system didn't, didn't really pan out, which is why it's not even in the video. That being said, uh, we already had the tin foil, which mm -hmm. is cheap anyway. And everybody has tin foil, so. Mm -hmm. uh, so the potassium nitrate is like $6.50 for a, a tub of it. Sugar is $3 a pound. Mm. That's really all you need. Old skillet, you get one at Goodwill if you don't already have one. Use a stick to mm -hmm. stir it, whatever. Just, yeah. uh, I tried a plastic one first, it melted. Or it, it got all warped on me or whatever, it was junk. Okay, now on to the cons of this method of using, of making portable smoke dispersion system. Um, the cons are it smells pretty bad. And, and by bad, I mean it's not like um, sweaty locker room, Magic the Gathering yeah. nerd, taco meat. It's not putrid. It's not like overwhelming. It's just like, uh, it smells like burnt sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, while you're cooking it, the, the sugar smells really good, I think. It doesn't burn that long. Considering what we've made here, mm -hmm. they're only these balls are only burning for like 20 to 30 seconds or so. Yeah. They're also insanely hot. The two that were burning behind me in the intro clip were, what, two feet away? Yeah. And they were, I could feel the heat. It's also like 10 degrees outside, so mm -hmm. it wasn't super uncomfortable, but it was, it was really, really hot. Good. It also leaves some gunk. I would put it in like a... Like a metal dish of some kind, like go get a cheap dog dish. Mm -hmm. Steal your dogs, don't steal your dog's dish. Old, old cake pan or something. Just something to contain yeah. the goop whenever it's done burning. It doesn't leave a pile of ash. It leaves a pile of, ugh. Weird, weird, like white. It's almost like toothpaste and baking soda yeah. type of film thing. It does take a little bit of time to make. It's about a 15 to 20 minute cooking process. Mm -hmm. You can get it all year round, that's another pro. You don't have to wait on yeah. the holiday uh, stores to open and sell fireworks. You yeah. can, you know, it's not expensive like haze in a can either. I mean, but it's still pretty neat. I mean, you saw how epic the beginning was. We were pretty happy with what we got. And that was just two little balls. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like a whole lot of it. We got a lot Yeah, and we made, we made a huge, that batch you saw us make, we made a huge, cylindrical version and we're not sure how long that will that will burn yet and we're not sure how much smoke that will put out yet but i don't know we're thinking at least i'm thinking at least a minute for that one i'm hoping so these do generate a ton of smoke uh i feel like these generate a lot more than the stuff you get at the fireworks stands oh, for definitely for sure hands down it, um, it actually from from everything i've read and from my personal experience it does not put off any kind of toxic, I mean, I could get cancer, I suppose, but I don't have it yet. Oh, the cure time takes a while. It's extremely hot and it's really difficult to mold. So yeah, it's it's moldable, just not easily done. And I would use, you know, some gloves or something to protect your mm -hmm. hands from the heat because it's, it's hot. Even in the tin foil, yeah. it was hot. Also, something we noticed was that trying to make the wick for it, it wasn't, you really didn't use it. It wasn't really usable. So we just took a couple of torches to it and that was fine. Yeah, you can buy a little torch with a butane torch at Walmart in the plumbing department for $24 or something. Make sure you have something to put out the fire. Sweet, if you like this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're interested in supporting us, check out our Patreon. Find us on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, all the social media stuff. Yeah. Links are all in the description. But definitely consider jumping over to Patreon. We just set up a Discord server. We're going to have live chats a couple times a month probably for Patreon people only. Yeah. Discount codes in the Etsy shop. You know, other fun things like that. But we appreciate your time watching this video. Yeah, thanks for watching and uh, catch you guys later. See you in the next one. Cool. What work, Dad? Cool. We just finished up the outdoor testing. Of the uh, the homemade smoke dispersion containment detainment system. Well, I've been taking care of fire since I was 11 years old, so I knew what was up. Oh yeah, did it grow up to be good? Mm -hmm. Never hurt anybody. Never hurt anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Pays the bills on time. <laughs>
Sometimes. Brought, been bringing up fire for a long time. <laughs> been bringing up fire for a long time. Bad parent alert. <laughs> <laughs>